Good day. Our lesson today is about how to convert a fraction to lowest term or simplest form. But before that, how can we say that a fraction is already in the lowest term? A fraction is in the lowest term when the only common factor of the numerator and denominator is 1. Let's have an example of 5 fifteenths. There is a common factor for both 5 and 15, so it means that 5 fifteenths is not in the lowest term. And that is what we are going to discuss today. A fraction that is not in the lowest term can be reduced to its lowest term by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by their GCF or greatest common factor. Let's start with 5 fifteenths. What is the GCF of 5 and 15? Correct. And that is 5. In this video, I am going to show you three ways on how to change a fraction to the lowest term. First is by dividing directly the GCF you find which is 5. 5 divided by 5 equals 1, which is your numerator, and 15 divided by 5 equals 3 which is your denominator. Therefore, the lowest term of 5 fifteenths is 1 third. Another example is 9 twelfths. Immediately finding the GCF of 9 and 12 gives you an answer of 3. Let's now divide the GCF. 9 divided by 3 equals 3, 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 9 twelfths when reducing to lowest term is equal to 3 fourths. Another way of reducing a fraction to the lowest term is by using continuous division. Let us try to reduce 14 twenty firsts. Getting the GCF of 14 and 21 is 7. 14 divided by 7 equals 2 and 21 divided by 7 equals 3. In that case, your quotient prime numbers 2 and 3 is already the lowest term of 14 twenty firsts. Just write a bar between them to make them as a fraction. 2 is your numerator and 3 is your denominator. Therefore, the lowest term of 14 twenty firsts is equal to 2 thirds. Let's try another example 12 twenty fourths for the continuous division. Getting the GCF of 12 and 24 is not that easy because they are already big numbers. So let's start with smaller prime common factors or finding prime factors which are 2. Then 12 divided by 2 equals 6, and 24 divided by 2 equals 12. The common prime factors of 6, and 12 is 2. So let us divide it again by 6 divided by 2 equals 3 and 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Another common prime factor for 3 and 6 is 3. Then let's divide 3 divided by 3 equals 1 and 6 divided by 3 equals 2. No more common factors for 1 and 2, so we are going to stop here. Put a bar between them to identify that 1 is your numerator and 2 is the denominator. Therefore, the lowest term of 12 twenty fourths is equal to 1 half. And lastly is the cancellation method where we still use the division of their common factors by cancelling the numerator and the denominator. Let us try 8 twentieths through cancellation. First, find the common factor for both 8 and 12 which is 4. Next is divide it with the numerator and the denominator. Cancel 8 divided by 4 is 2 and cancel 20 divided by 4 is 5. There are no more common factors for both 2 and 5, 
so we can now identify the numerator as 2 and the denominator as 5. Using the cancellation method changing 8 twentieths to the lowest term will give you an answer of 2 fifths. Another example is 45 sixtieths. Finding first their common factor which is 5. Cancel 45 divided by 5 equals 9, cancel 60 divided by 5 equals 12. Getting the common factor of 9 and 12 is 3. Then cancel 9 divided by 3 is 3, and cancel 12 divided by 3 is 4. There is no more common factor for both 3 and 4. We can now conclude that 45 sixtieths when you change to the lowest term is equal to 3 fourths. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get more new video lesson updates.